Hello again, I'm Sam Brown, uh, Marketing Director at the Players Lottery, and welcome to the second of our affiliate webinar presentations. Based on the feedback we had in our last webinar, we'd like to talk to you about a few important topics that are often asked by our membership. We'll start with a more detailed look at the physical structure of your network and clear up a couple of common questions there, including how we use cookies to determine who belongs in whose network, We'll answer a common question regarding sub-affiliates. We'll talk about the two separate players' lottery sites and why we have two sites. This will lead into the popular topic of affiliate ticket purchases and the rules regarding the personal ticket purchases of your sub-affiliates and your commissions on those purchases, and the issue of personal purchases for those affiliate in banned or restricted territories. So let's start by clearing up a couple of points regarding your affiliate network and commission structure. There may be a tiny bit of repetition on some of the material initially, but we've tried to keep it to an absolute minimum and we'll be moving quickly on to the topics in hand. If you're new to the programme and feel a little bit lost, uh, it'd probably be a good idea to watch the previous webinar before watching this one. So let's begin. Here is you, the affiliate, and as you know, all affiliate networks have a customer side and a sub-affiliate side. Customers are added to your network and they click through your personal affiliate links in your email, Facebook, Twitter, etc. Or when they click on a banner, landing page or button from your website. As soon as they register, these customers will appear on the top line of your network directly below you. It should be made clear that customers are tagged to the first affiliate link they click through. This adds a cookie to connect that customer to the affiliate forever, unless the customer clears their cookies prior to registration. Once a person completes their registration, the referral relationship is permanent. We've had several people email us and having already clicked through on someone else's link or banner and then registered, saying that they would rather be in their brother's or friend's network and so on. But the fact is, they first clicked on someone else's link and as a company, we must respect the initial crew. It would be terribly unfair to remove a person from the official referrer's network who spent time and in many cases money attracting that initial click through. As an affiliate, when the lottery goes live and you yourself are signing up customers, there will always be those customers that have clicked through your banner and your link and registered, but later decide that they would rather be in someone else's network other than yours. In many cases, they may not even remember clicking through on your banner in the first place. Regardless of this, we will not alter the relationship and that person, however unhappy, will remain as your customer for as long as you both remain members of the player's lottery. OK, moving on. Once customers are added to the top level of your network, they'll be encouraged by a series of incentivized emails from us to begin uh, sharing their network with friends and building their own Share the Wealth network. Of course, in building their own networks, they're also building yours. So here we see illustrated a customer on your top level who has referred his friends, who all in turn have referred theirs, and so on and so on for five levels. Each customer that you add to your top line will do the same. Your objective, of course, will be to add hundreds of people to your top line so that you'll have hundreds of networks under you as well. Obviously, hundreds of people on your top line translates to hundreds or thousands of customers in your network. So here's another area that requires clarification, and that is the number of levels that you're paid on in regards to customers. It's always five, your five levels, not the customer's five levels. You'll be paid on all the purchases of each person that you refer, plus the first four levels of their network not all five levels of each person's network. Don't forget that each person you refer is on your first level and then you get paid on the first four levels of their networks, a total of five levels. I hope that makes that point clear. Now let's talk about the sub-affiliate side for a moment. The sub-affiliate side is identical to the customer side in almost every way, with the main difference being the commission payout. It's 1% for the sub-affiliates customer network. All sub-affiliates that you refer added to your top level and you are paid for the first four levels of each sub-affiliates customer network. Now, there is another question that comes up fairly often. 
am I allowed, as an affiliate, to have five levels of sub-affiliates underneath me? In other words, can I have sub-affiliates who refer sub-affiliates who refer sub-affiliates, etc., etc., and be paid on all those sub-affiliates customers all the way down the line? The answer is no. The player's lottery will pay you only on the customer networks for sub-affiliates on your top level. In other words, only for those affiliates that you have yourself referred. What you do get is four levels of commissions for customer purchases for each sub-affiliate that you refer, the same as on the customer side. Each sub-affiliate that you refer is on the top level and you get paid on their next four levels of customers, again to a total of five levels. As you can see, your sub-affiliate side mirrors your customer side. It should help you to visualize the structure. They are almost the same. This leads to the question, what about share the wealth prizes for sub-affiliates networks below my top level? Don't worry, you still qualify for the share the wealth prize. Let me explain. Let's say you have a sub-affiliate, Mary. And Mary signs up her own sub-affiliate, John, who then starts a network of customers. You would collect commission on Mary's customers because she is your sub-affiliate but you would not collect commissions from John's referrals because John is Mary's sub-affiliate. However, as you can see, there is a chain of referral here, so you are still eligible for the share the wealth on a good part of John's network. As an example, let's say one of John's customers wins the lottery down here on John's second level of customers. As long as that customer is within five levels of referral below you, you will win a share the wealth prize. So here's the single winner of the main jackpot. Now, whoever referred that person on this level wins 100,000 euros. Then John would win 100,000 euros for the referral, and Mary would win 100,000 euros for referring John, and of course you win 100,000 euros for referring Mary. So you see that even though you don't earn a commission two or three or more levels of sub-affiliation down, the referral connections are always there and you're still eligible for Share the Wealth. Let's move on to another area of interest, personal ticket purchases by affiliates. First of all, it's important to understand that there are two completely separate websites that comprise the Players Lottery. There is the Players site at theplayerslottery.com and there is the affiliate site at theplayerslottery.com forward slash affiliates. The playerslottery.com is the main player site and is where all the action takes place in terms of the actual lottery. This site is where players register, where they purchase tickets, where they form clubs, where e-commerce takes place. It's only on this site that players can deposit or withdraw funds. This site is restricted for those who are over 18 years old and residing in a legal jurisdiction. Players and affiliates from banned territories cannot register for a customer account on this site. The other site is the playerslottery.com forward slash affiliates. Anybody over the age of 18 can register on this site and pending their approval can become a, an affiliate regardless of where they live. The reason for this is there's no way to purchase a ticket on the affiliate site. There is no way that an affiliate in a banned country can break the law by purchasing a ticket through this site. The affiliate site has its own registration and login and this is the place to go and get your banners and links, to see the performance of all your posted creative and to check how you're doing financially in respect to player purchases and your commissions. The reason there are two completely separate sites is to accommodate those affiliates who reside in banned territories but target customers outside of those banned territories, which is perfectly legal and allowed by our licensing. Affiliates in banned territories are not allowed by law to purchase tickets for the lottery or even register as a member on our gaming site, theplayerslottery.com. By having two sites, we can accommodate those affiliates from banned territories by forming a strictly business-to-business -business sales arrangement with no option to gamble illegally. It's important to understand this before we turn to the issue of purchasing tickets as an affiliate. As shown, and for the reasons mentioned, it's not possible to purchase a ticket as an affiliate on the affiliate site. If you want to purchase tickets for yourself 
or form your own ticket clubs or enjoy any of the other gaming related features of the lottery, you will have to register a player account at theplayerslottery.com. You must be 18 or over and reside in a legal jurisdiction. Once you have a player account, you can log in, buy tickets, form a club and all the other fun stuff we have going on. Who knows, you might even win 10 million euros. So this brings up a couple of important questions in relation to your sub affiliates, such as If my sub affiliate opens a player account in order to purchase his or her own personal tickets, is that player account still in my network and do I get commission on those personal purchases? The answer is yes to both. The player is included in your network and yes you collect a commission on the ticket purchased by the sub affiliate. In fact, when your sub affiliate purchases their own tickets as a player, they're just like any other player in the customer side of your network and you'll get 3, 4 or 5% commission just like any other customer. Not 1% like you would for player purchases on the sub affiliate side of your network. So anyway, that concludes the webinar for this week. We like to keep them short and sweet so as not to cover too much material at once. I'm sure many of you now have questions regarding the preceding information, so please feel free to send all of those questions to affiliates at theplayerslottery.com. We'll answer them in a second pre-recorded presentation similar to this one, which will be posted on Tuesday, March the 6th. Thank you for listening.